This video will cover classifications of nouns and functions of nouns. A noun is a person, place, thing, or idea. John flew to Rome in an airplane over the summer. There's an example of a person, a place, thing, and idea. Jillian stomped in the middle of the puddle with confidence. Jillian being a person, middle being a place, even though it's not a specific place, puddle being a thing, and confidence only being an idea. All nouns are common or proper. Common nouns are more of a general case. They do not start with a capital letter. Proper nouns are a very specific case, and each word in a proper noun begins with a capital letter. The entire thing, like Lakeshore Drive, for example, is considered one noun. All nouns are either concrete or abstract. Concrete nouns can be perceived with at least one of your five senses, whereas abstract are ideas or concepts, qualities, states, emotions, or events. They don't exist in the real world and cannot be perceived with the five senses. You could probably say that you feel warmth, so that might be a little confusing. These on the left, though, you could actually touch them. And on the right, it's just more of a concept. Instead, it doesn't exist physically. So these are the ones that people forget sometimes when they're identifying nouns. And here's a much larger list. Things like pain or sensitivity for feelings. Chaos or freedom for states. Despair or joy for emotions. Beauty or generosity for qualities. Culture or failure for concepts. Communication or interest for ideas. Career or holiday for events. Collective nouns name groups of things and people such as family, group, majority, team, or class. In general, we treat collective nouns as singular nouns, as in the family held its reunion at the park, or the team celebrated its victory. However, not every collective noun is actually singular. When a group is acting together, like the jury is deciding the fate of the accused, that's correct, but when the members of the group are not acting together, then the jury are undecided on the guilt of the accused is more appropriate. There's lots of fun names for collective nouns for animals. Compound nouns. They contain two or more words that join together to make a single noun. And there's three different kinds of them. Closed form, hyphenated, and open form. Closed form, we have two words meshed together to make one word, like basket, ball. Hyphenated, two or more words held together by hyphens, like son-in-law. Open form, two separate words are considered one compound noun, like post office or real estate or middle class. The tricky distinction to make here is, whereas tall describes a ladder, does post describe an office? You could probably make a case for that. But when the words are so frequently used together, then we just consider it as one noun, even though they're separate words. Many nouns have the articles a, an, or the in front of them, such as the perpetrator or the elevator. There might be some adjectives thrown in there, though, like a moldy green book or the careless librarian. That's a clue, though, that a noun is coming up. So let's talk about just some of the common functions of nouns to help you figure out where they might be in sentences. Ted is the subject. That's who completed the action. Marathon is the direct object. That's the recipient of the verb. Ran what? Ran a marathon. Tim is the indirect object. That's the recipient of the direct object, the jersey. Harvard is the object of the preposition. From Harvard describes the economists. Computer is the object of this verbal phrase, purchasing a what? A computer. And that whole thing is the subject here. Scientist describes the subject, Don. Scientist is the subject, complement. Rack describes the direct object, Jerry. Rack is the object, complement. Gourmet describes Janice. This noun or noun phrase, sometimes, describes the noun in front of it. Science modifies what type of teacher we're talking about. In this case, this attributive noun functions like an adjective. Rachel's homework, that tells you who the homework belonged to, and Rachel's functions like an adjective. 